Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we'll be checking out the grand opening of The Arches by Lennar Homes in Red Point Village of West Summerlin in Las Vegas, Nevada. This community is located in West Summerlin. Located west of the 215 Beltway, the major crossroads are Desert Foothills Drive and Far Hills Avenue. The HOA is $165 per month and there's a Summerlin West Master HOA of $55 per month for a total HOA of $220 per month. There is also a SIDS balance of $27,089 which is paid $1,019 semi-annually. Currently, the home site premiums range from $0 to $220,000. The build times are between 13 to 15 months. The lot sizes will range between 9,435 square feet to 18,524 square feet, and the average lot size will be 10,600 square feet. The nearby amenities include the Red Rock Resort Casino and Spa, the City National Arena, the Las Vegas Ballpark, and downtown Summerlin. If it's your first time here, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. Today we'll be exploring their smallest floor plan, the Theodore. This home features 3,775 square feet, 4 bedrooms, 4.5 bathrooms, a 3-car tandem garage, and a next-gen suite. There are 3 different elevations for this home. On the top left is the transitional Spanish. In the middle is the ranch Hacienda. And on the bottom left is the transitional ranch. With Lennar Homes, what you see is what you get. There are many included features, but there's very little room to customize your home. There are only four things that you can customize in this community. The first is flooring. The second will be countertops. The third is cabinets. And the fourth will be your backsplash. The Theodore floor plan will feature a three car tandem garage. Your garage will be fully finished and I'll have a Tesla Powerwall backup gateway too and a rechargeable lithium iron battery pack for energy storage, as well as two or nine tankless water heaters. At the front of your home will be a security gate. As we walk past the security gate, this is your covered entry. I do like that it's actually open to up above. It makes your home so much more bright and airy. We have shiplap on this wall. And this space here is your courtyard. The courtyard is also open above. And these double doors are your entry to your next gen living. The glass is also frosted to help with privacy. We have stacked stone here. Your entry door will be an 8 foot pivot door with a frosted glass. I would actually prefer this door to be not frosted. You already have enough privacy from the security gate. And this door here is your garage access door. It will lead to a 3 car tandem garage, but is currently locked. A ring doorbell will come with your home. I feel the frosted glass actually blocks out a lot of light too. The floors in this model home is a luxury vinyl plank. The flooring that comes with your home will be a resilient vinyl flooring at the entry and wet areas, and plush carpeting everywhere else. At the foyer, we have 10 foot ceilings. The main living area will feature 12 foot ceilings, which include the living room, dining room, nook, and kitchen. And you'll have 10 foot ceilings everywhere else in the home. Conveniently located next to the entryway is your powder room. A few great included features would be 8 foot interior doors throughout your entire home. Also, a Santa Fe wall texture.
five and a quarter inch baseboards. It's refreshing to see cabinets and countertops in the powder room rather than a pedestal sink. A great included feature in your bathrooms would be a white quartz countertops with a 4 inch backsplash. We also have an undermount sink and a Moen single lever faucet in chrome. All of your toilets will also be dual flush toilets. The powder room also has a window here that faces toward your courtyard. Your entire home will also come with window treatments. You'll have 2 inch fall wood blinds on all your windows. Although they're not the nicest window treatments, then our homes are one of the few bidders that will include window treatments. This space here is what they call a nook. It measures 15 by 13. It also makes it for a great space for a formal dining table. This chandelier will not come with your home. And here we have a kitchen. Wow, look at this pantry. We have modern door levers and a chrome finish. This pantry is humongous. There's also access to your attic here and three LED lights. This pantry measures 10 by 14. And check out this fridge. This is a 72 inch GE monogram built in refrigerator. It also has a statement handles and a signature gold trim. Some backlighting here. Quartz countertop kitchen island with waterfall legs. Your kitchen island will also feature cabinets that face toward your living room. And these cabinets are 24 inches deep. This door in the kitchen will lead to a three-car tandem garage. This home will also feature soft-closed cabinetry doors and drawers. Hmm, that was odd. I think they forgot to install the soft clothes on these drawers. The kitchen will also feature 42 inch upper cabinets and a 3 inch crown molding. Here's your 2 inch blinds. Pots and pan drawers. Also a drawer above here as well. These are soft clothes. And that one's not. This is a GE stainless steel gourmet ice maker. This is optional and not included feature. 
Your kitchen will also feature a mowing designer single lever spring faucet. You'll also have a mirror sink, stainless steel undermount sink, as well as a drinking water filtration system that has not yet been installed. The kitchen will also feature a 48 inch GE monogram stainless steel hood, a pot filler, and a 48 inch GE monogram stainless steel range. This will come with a 4 gas burner, a griddle, and a grill. This range can also be controlled by Wi Fi. Also with ambient lighting. Gold plated knobs. And double ovens. The kitchen will also feature a GE monogram stainless steel smart dishwasher. You'll have LED lights on both sides, as well as up above, and three racks. More pots and pan drawers. A ton of cabinet space and shelving. The upper stack cabinets are hollow. Here's a GE monogram stainless steel Avantium microwave oven. This model home does show a full height backsplash, but this is optional and not included. This area here is your dining room. It measures 17 by 11 and a half. Also have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or a chandelier. The dining room will also have a 12 by 8 multi-sliding glass door and two windows facing your covered patio. The nook will also have a 12 by 8 multi-sliding glass door. This space here is the living room which measures 17 by 16. The living room will have 4 LED lights and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or a light. Oh, this door is locked, I think. Let's try this one. This one's locked as well, but the backyard features a barbecue stub and a 14 sear AC unit. And if you're wondering, these homes will feature two AC units. And the living room also has a 12 by 8 multi sliding glass door, as well as a Honeywell thermostat. Down this hallway is bedroom 2 and 3, bathrooms 2 and 3, your laundry room, and your next gen living. This will be your AC air intake filter. This door leads to your owner suite. The owner suite measures 17 by 15. In the owner suite, you have one pre wire for a ceiling fan or a light. Looks kind of funny with just one LED light in here. Your owner suite will also have its own thermostat control. And 
and you have these windows here that overlook your backyard. A single French door here. And this is also locked. We have a very spacious covered patio in the backyard. And three pre wires for ceiling fans and two LED lights. The model home sit on some of the best lots in this community, which are considered elevated lots. These lots have strip views. Oops, I zoomed into the tree. There we go. You can see the wind in the Encore Resorts World. The Venetian Palazzo. And you can also see the Red Rock Casino from here as well. These lots will go around $250,000. And this is the owner's bathroom. The owner's suite will feature 36 inch folding vanity cabinets. The owner's bathroom will have a wall to wall vanity mirror, but it does not go all the way to the ceiling with the same Moen faucets with the chrome finish as the other bathrooms. The same white quartz countertop. The owner's bathroom also features a stand-up shower, as well as a freestanding tub. This is a great sized tub. Now, if you want to change these fixtures to gold, matte black, or brush nickel, you can't. You would have to do so after you buy this home. We have a 3 8 inch tempered glass frameless shower. This shower will have a 12 by 24 tile and a mowing shower head as well as a rain shower head. This shower will also feature a seat and a 2x2 tile shower pan. Extra cabinets here for linen. Your water closet with a dual flush toilet and a small window. This will be your walk-in closet. A great feature about the homes at the arches is that the owner suite's walk-in closet will feature a water line for a washer as well as a gas line for a gas dryer hookup. This wash and dryer will not come with your home, but you do have the option of purchasing one through Lennar. This is bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 measures 11.5 by 11.5. All the secondary bedrooms, like the owner suite, will feature a pre wire for a ceiling fan or a light. Bedroom 3 also has a window that overlooks your courtyard and its own walk in closet. Bedroom 3 will also feature its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 3. And these bathrooms are pretty much identical. A window here that overlooks your courtyard as well. 
the shower will be a shower and tub combo with a tiled shower in a subway pattern. And this tile will go all the way to the ceiling. We have another thermostat in the hallway. And this is bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 measures 12.5 by 13. A pre wire for a ceiling fan or a light. And bedroom 2 has two windows facing the side of your home, its own walk in closet. And its own ensuite bathroom, bathroom 2. Everything looks the same. The same shower tub combo with the subway tile. The staging that they did is pretty subpar. There's a transfer grill above this door, which is your laundry room. The laundry room will come with a utility sink that is top mounted and a mow and pull out faucet. Also, a window that overlooks your courtyard. Upper cabinets above the washer dryer. The washer and dryer are optional and will not come with your home. And with a smart panel here. And this door leads to your next gen living. This is the next gen bedroom. It measures 17 and a half by 13. A pre wire for a ceiling fan or a light. This next gen bedroom is very spacious. This is bathroom 4, white quartz countertop on the mount sink, a standard vanity mirror, three 8 inch tempered glass, and bathroom 4 is different from bathroom 2 and bathroom 3 where it's a stand up shower and does not have a tub. The shower pan will be fiberglass and not tiled. I'm not liking the paint colors for this home. The next gen bedroom has also its own walk in closet and its own washer and dryer, which is not included. You just get the water line and the gas dryer hookup. Access to your attic. With the next gen, it also comes with a kitchenette. In your kitchenette, you'll have a GE stainless steel French door refrigerator. And a GE profile stainless steel convection microwave oven. You also have 42 inch upper cabinets as well as crown molding. A stainless steel on the mount sink and the same faucet from the kitchen. The kitchen end will also come with a white quartz on top with a 4 inch backsplash. This is a next gen living. It measures 16 by 15. It will come with 4 LED lights and a pre wire for a ceiling fan or light. It also has its own thermostat and door chime, a cable outlet,
French doors with frosted glass. Which leads back to your courtyard. This concludes my home tour of the Theodore Four Plant at the Arches by Lennar Homes in West Summerlin. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button and like button. Also, if you have any questions or like my real estate assistance in buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please do not hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching to the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.